Because you already know about color correction, how to get the highlights and the shadows and lift a bit the mid-tones or adjust them, then it will be interesting for now to try your hand to do color correction for this image using the curves. So we have the parade here. I don't know if you would like to use the waveform. At this stage of the course, I think you can make the right choice. But I will use parade because I can see all the red, blue, green. Usually with curves, it's always the parade. From the graph, you notice you need to lift the highlights and take down the shadows. Before you start, make sure that you have the link is on. Okay, mine was off. So you're using the three colors at the same time. Then you click on the Luma point for highlights and you drag it up. Towards the left, of course, is going up. So you can decide where you want to stop. I will stop just over here. Notice I have a problem with the blue. I need to lift the blue a bit. Let's work with the shadows. Of course, you click on the point for shadows. You take it down, that is towards the right, and the shadows now are cool. Actually, you're having very good correction. Now we need to work with the mid-tones. So notice what you have here. If you go up here and take it up, notice which part you are taking up. It's mainly this part over here on top. I will cancel this. If I go down for the mid-tones and take it up, notice what I'm taking up. It's mainly this part over here. So you have the choice here to decide which part you want to take up and which part you want to take down. So I will come in the middle here, click and take it up. Okay, that's my decision. Maybe you'll find something better. I'm looking also at the image over here. It's brightening up. It's quite cool. So we have this portion here. Should we take it up? You'll notice here you have a lot of concentration of colors. It is this part over here. If it doesn't work, you don't care. You remove the point, then put another one and start working. Here we are, we're lifting up. Are we getting good results? Actually, we are. There's something important also. I'm recording through my monitor, but the recorder I'm using Camtasia maybe is not taking all the colors at 100%. So there will be a difference between the colors that I'm looking at on my monitor, which is somehow calibrated, and the one you are receiving through Camtasia, the website, and then through your monitor. So actually, this graph with you might look different on your monitor. For me, it's okay. For you guys, you need to do the graph to see exactly how things are appearing for you. Thank you very much for listening. I'll move on to the next lecture.